Hi, I'm Ben Sauerwein, a grad student at Carnegie Mellon University Department of Physics. This is a talk I'm giving at the Rutgers Statistical Mechanics Conference this weekend, titled The Folding Kinetics of Riboswitch Transcriptional Terminators, and I prepared this research with my advisor, Mike Whittle. A riboswitch is an RNA-based sensor for a ligand in solution that will help a organism mediate the production of a gene based on the presence of this ligand. A, as you may know, messenger RNA, where the riboswitch lives, is transcribed from DNA, like your genes, and this messenger RNA is a precursor for proteins. The riboswitch consists of two important regions, an aptamer, or sensor region, and then a transcriptional terminator hairpin, which, if formed, will prevent the gene from being transcribed and prevent the protein from ever being produced. Riboswitches have been found in bacteria and some fungi and viruses. We focus on bacteria. And further, we focus on the transcriptional terminator hairpin, which is under a clear time constraint. Namely, if the hairpin is not formed by the time it reaches this region just before, just after it, or just before the gene, then the gene will be transcribed, which may have perilous results for the organism. We used a Monte Carlo simulator, which focused on the secondary structure, or these shapes that the RNA is allowed to form, from binding with itself just after it's transcribed. There are several interesting phenomena we noticed in our results. First, that if you take the sequence of the transcriptional terminator and reverse it, that it has a much higher tendency to get stuck in some metastable state and not form properly than the forward-grown sequence. This seems to indicate that there may be some metastable states that exist in the downstream sequence, in the late sequence, that's not in the early sequence. Next, we notice that if you look at the population of random shuffles that sort of preserve structure and nucleotide pairing, that as far as this population is concerned, the real sequence tends to perform about 15% better than the population average, which is some indication for selection in favor of good folding pathways. Finally, we notice that if you look at the population of efficiencies, for these randomly shuffled hairpins, that about 90% form extremely well, just about as well as the real hairpin, and about 10% form very, very poorly. They pathologically get stuck or lost in a tree of metastable states. They wouldn't make very good biological terminators. Now, the behavior we notice is that the real hairpins are always in the well folding set and never in the poorly folding set which is certainly indication that there is some selection going on here in favor of good folding. Now, there are two conclusions that we can draw despite not having worked out all the intricacies of statistical analysis. One is that there is apparently a preference for well folding hairpins. This may be due to promiscuous binding guanine being preferentially placed downstream on the later transcribed end and the specifically binding cytosine being placed generally on the early end. The other conclusion we can draw is that it appears that equilibrium thermodynamics may not be sufficient to describe the full behavior of riboswitches in bacteria. Thank you.